do now uh, will be a variation of uh, Kirby Chalk. Uh, the principle will, will stay the same, uh, but I will use different part of the keys game, not mine. The Kirby Chalk goes from my part of the lower uh, jacket, but as you know, it's forbidden in Judo using of my lower jacket like this for choking. So, uh, what I use now is this kind of a bend inside, but I have to go a little bit deeper than in the previous two techniques. So, previously we used this side or this part of his, lower, of his jacket, the lower, the lower jacket, and now I have to go a little bit deeper. It's not that hard to get there, uh, especially when he's, in a, he's not completely closed, he's maybe started trying to stay in some active position. Uh, to try to go for the counter attack or to trying to, to stand up. So it's not that hard to, to, to get uh, a little bit closer to his, his neck here with this hand and the other hand again moved up to here. Now it doesn't matter if he is in the turtle position or if he is uh, completely stretched with his thumb from here. From here, I just need to find the right uh, angle to set up my, my, my position. With, uh, as best as I can. So what I do now, I go with this leg on his neck, make space with a good angle, and go with the, another leg uh, on his back here. And now the angle have to be have to be here for the choke have to be good enough. It, it, that, it, it's not good if your leg goes uh, more than enough over his neck. It needs to go somewhere around here because when I need to push it, to push his head, I need to push it in that direction, in that direction, because this part of the collar will be the the strangling, strangling point here. So here, this will be the the right the right angle. Okay. So I use one leg up to here, one leg up to here. Also, what I want to point out from this position, what I do normally, uh, he's. Normal defense will, as soon as I go up here on his head, he will try to use his arm to push my push my leg using a gi or, or even grabbing the, the ankle here to just push my, my leg off of his head. Uh, so what I do here, it, uh, it is a little bit because of this, this little detail, uh, the, the strangle will be a little bit weaker, but you will be safe in this position when I go with my, with my heel somewhere here in the direction of his armpit. So when I go up to here, it's uh, impossible for him to grab my ankle and defend it. Okay, so I go in this direction and do then down. So I'm here and I go for the heart squeeze and it's strength. Also what he will do, probably he will try to jump and go in a row. It's not a problem because I just follow him. I just follow. And we end up here. This is also a position where I can strangle him, go for a choke, or I can wait because this is a nice and strong osecon. Now let's go one more time. Again, from this angle, uh, I go here, but the difference with the previous technique is that I have to go a little bit deeper. I went deeper with this one, I grabbed the collar at the back of his head. Another one, and now I go here. It's a good try. It's a good try. Now I pull with both of my hands and push with both of my legs. What he normally does is going for a roll. He goes for a roll. I just pull and up here. It's still very strong strength, and it's also an osecon. So I just can put a pressure to make him uncom more uncomfortable and just wait for the. Also, call me for the 20 seconds. One 